So we had some fun yesterday in Zulgaroop. Uh, it was a long time ago since I was there, so picked up a couple of quests on the island in Sangatronville and then just went in with this group. Uh, lay back, uh, easy loot rules. Uh, a lot of the time uh, the loot was still simply on um, uh, group loot. And there where it uh, went wrong with the bosses, everybody just passed and uh, we just divided the loot, uh, simple as that. So, uh, so what happens? Um, first of course uh, we went to the uh, bad boss. Uh, bad boss is actually easy, but there's a couple of packs over there, and as you can see over here, uh, some people need to pay uh, <laughs> attention because these these things explode, the bad riders explode, and uh, that gives you some pain. While well, some guys had to have a hard time learning that, they died like four times, uh, especially the guy on the in the, in the top left corner of the uh, interface uh, where, I, where I heal everybody. Uh, he was uh, out of luck, or he was actually not having a brain. One of the So after you clear all these packs, uh, you end up uh, in front of him, and then of course at a certain moment you have to pull. Well, uh, actually uh, keep him just where he, uh, where, he, where he lands, so when he comes off his uh, uh, latch, just keep him over there, turn him away from the raid, because there's a silence uh, that he does. Uh, that this tank doesn't do that, actually. Um, but okay. Uh, then at some point he calls in some bats, we have some bombardments, you have some fire rain. Just stay at the fire, and uh, this is the last chance that you can still have your molten core gear uh, and fire resist. I have like uh, 154 uh, in gear, uh, geared uh, in, my, in, my, in my gear and resistance, and I needed it actually because in the end uh, I found out that I still have my grinding settings, and that's why that I mean I don't see the particles that much, don't see too much uh, clutter, ground clutter as well. So uh, I hardly saw I was just standing in the fire in the end. So just make sure your sure your settings are set that you can see the ground clutter uh, and especially see the particles uh, around you that's all done in the setup uh, by the way um, yeah. so uh, for the rest nothing more to waste So then uh, just clearing pads, packs uh, until you get to the next boss, uh, it's not too hard, um, just pay attention and then you end up uh, at Venox and he has poison, uh, all the packs in front of him has poison, so make sure you, sure you, you turn those snakes as soon as possible, uh, watch out for patrols and then the start side parts just kill all the ads first and then uh, make sure when they're dead uh, that you keep moving uh, the, the boss because he uh, he pops uh, some some green cloud that green cloud of poison so all the leaders behind him will get uh, uh, damage and die so just uh, move him a lot and then you'll be okay just around uh, this whole area and uh, that's uh, that's great actually uh, you will see that in a minute so something like right now I guess yeah so that the dispelling is also one thing. I didn't have it set up in my interface, so I'm, I, I, if you see my interface later, you can see that the heal bot then has extra bars for all the mobs, so it's easy to dispel them.
So then it's just a quick move, uh, killing some more snakes, uh, some berserkers. Uh, watch out for a knockback, of course, don't pull too. And then you end up at a group uh, with blood drinkers, uh, of course, uh, spread them out, uh, but not into the group, of course, keep the group at on in, in distance, and then uh, you'll be okay. Now, these uh, also have knockback, so uh, sometimes if they kick you into another group, uh, that uh, is painful. Uh, I'm wrong. We went uh, not to the blood drinkers yet, uh, this was uh, the spider was, of course. But uh, same same principles. Um, uh, so the spider boss uh, quite easy, just uh, knock him down. Uh, sometimes you need a, a dispel. Um, nothing to it. This is quite easy getting some ads down. Uh, nature resist would help. Yeah, the off tank just catch the spiders before they get into the raid. You see me looking around for my dispel button, but uh, I didn't set it up yet. Didn't have time between uh, the last boss and this boss. But they, they need both need the same thing. There it is. Still didn't help, so I, I changed more. Yeah, it takes a little while, but... Uh... Okay, so this is actually what I talked about uh, before. Don't get knocked back uh, over here. Um, so, uh, there's all these piles over here uh, with voodoo dolls. Uh, just loot them and then uh, see what, for what class they are and then that's just a class roll. Uh, everybody needs three in the end uh, if they get from the bosses their uh, their extra equipment, and then they have to be turned in at the island to get a uh, gear piece. I don't expect that you get three. Uh, So another fun thing over here is that uh, you see all these spirits on the side, if you die they will rest you, but they will also uh, upgrade the boss, so the boss gets stronger and stronger. So the the, the raptor does not die first, you have to kill the raptor as last, uh, because when you kill the raptor the boss enrages for a minute, so just get your off tank, uh, put the raptor uh, far away from him, and uh, actually there is a ledge on the left side of the stairs. Uh, that's where actually the healer stands and then the, the raptor stands on top of that uh, uh, area and the boss is just running around down there. That will be okay. Of course, if you have your raid members close to these uh, uh, ghosts, that would be nice, but you don't know which ghost will come first. So, uh, I don't think uh, the closest uh, is coming, but you could actually try it out. So in this case we uh, killed the boss and then we have the raptor still alive and uh, he can still do quite a lot of damage. But uh, if you wipe uh, after you killed the boss, don't worry, uh, we did it uh, and then the raptor just disappears. So don't watch out for the ghosts, they help us. Well, the only thing I should watch out for is not dying. Dying makes him stronger. Oh yeah, if he watches, if the bot watches, watches you, when he uh, announces that, then don't do anything, because otherwise uh, you die instantly. So that's the main cause of the dead actually over here, and that makes him stronger, so bad thing. As you see, I just got a rest of one of the spirits.
So then we end up uh, killing a couple of tigers and then we are the tiger boss. Um, when he comes there's like three mobs. One is a healer, in this case a mark is a blue. Uh, just get him out of the way so we can't reach the other ones. Then I'll bring them down to 10%. When they are 10% just bring them together. And when they are together then just nuke them down. Uh, they have to die within a ten time window of about 10 seconds. And then they are dead. If not then they respawn so you have to do it again. Uh, after they died, then the real boss uh, spawns and he needs to be tanked where I'm actually standing right here. So this is where the raid stands and then the tank stands uh, actually a little bit more back as it is doing now. But of course this is not the fight yet. You will see in a second that we just have them opposite sides of these walls. And that makes it easier because sometimes you charge away and then uh, it will always cl cl close distance between the tank and the, and the raid. Off tank just brings him back to the tank, that will do. So about the whole dun dungeon, there are like uh, six uh, priests, high priests, they need to die and then you can do Hakkar. In this case we did that, uh, so that means that uh, Hexar is not mandatory to do. Uh, we skipped him, which is uh, bad actually because there's a lot of uh, nice uh, loot for uh, healers. So now these spawns, so you see the rate is all moving up to these walls, and um, he's being tanked against, uh, actually uh, he could be tanked a little bit more to the, to the left side, to the green wall, but it's okay, as long as the tank has something in his back, it's okay. So uh, here we jump in uh, after we had uh, looted uh, something uh, that we need to bring to Ned Pagel in uh, the Scholar Marsh, uh, get some uh, bait, catch some fishes over here, then they have some lure to catch this big dragon, three-headed dragon. Uh, before you do that, jump in the water, clear the water uh, of all the fishes, so they don't uh, uh, interfere with your, uh, with your uh, raid. So uh, here you all dive in the water, stay underwater as deep as you can. Uh, don't be afraid of dying, all the undeads have uh, long enough breath to do this. Um, and you'll be kicked up out of the water a couple of times, so um, at that moment you can breathe and just dive under again. So there's the dragon with the three heads, just nuke him down, quite easy actually. Uh, yeah, just let it fight. Enjoy it. So the only, the only uh, real uh, uh, event is that being kicked up, so if you do this in, on, on land, you drop down and, and die. But if you land in the water, you'll be okay. Don't forget to swim down again. This is where you want actually all the fish dead, otherwise you will still have people dying from fish or you need being interrupted by fish, which is bad enough. But the advice is simple, if there is a fish, kill it and then continue killing the boss. Uh, this raid didn't have strong leadership, uh, maybe not needed because it was uh, quite easy, but especially at the last boss uh, it, it wasn't pain. So at this point we, we had two bosses to go, we went to the Panther boss and then to Hakkar. As, 
I said we skipped Hexor. Simply because the tank was uh, falling asleep. He needed to work the next day and we took about 4 hours to get this raid going. Alright, not to get going, to get it finished. So this is the Pentaboss. I'm standing here at the gong. So as soon as you hit the gong, then uh, the fight starts. Don't worry, he's not spawning directly, he's not killing the, uh, the, the guy that uh, hits the gong, so you can just send anybody over there that is uh, disposable or a healer. Now uh, you see this uh, like this uh, sort of fence uh, on two sides, make sure you, all the clothes are against the fence with the back, so that when the boss uh, spawns later, uh, that he doesn't, uh, uh, is behind you and kills you. He spawns in on the other side of the fence, so that's a, that's a good point. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the ads, don't kill the ads at the first moment, just wait until the boss disappears. When the boss disappears, then kill all the ads and be quick. Because this is getting out of hand with a lot of ads uh, quick. So uh, save your mana and, and bring them together quick to kill them. Now then, uh, when the boss uh, spawns again, just uh, nuke the boss down. Well, just. You can do some more details on the placement of the rate over here. But overall, we made it. I have to consider that a lot of people didn't do this rate for many years. So they still perform well, and uh, I, I think I think compared to back then, we are simply better geared uh, when we go in here. And you can see how many ads there are. I wonder if there is something to say for just getting all the ads on the boss and then AOE the boss and the ads at the same time. So at least you keep your ads under control. Can't remember that from the past, in the past actually. One big me mechanics, just tank him where he stands and keep him there. And then one person just uh, walks down, gets the son of Hakkar, and just before uh, Hakkar starts to drink our blood, we want to stand in the uh, poison of this snake. So we just kill the, the small son of Hakkar, stand with the raid in this uh, green stuff, and then we have corrupted blood buff on us. Then when Hakkar is sucking our blood, then we actually poison him and he doesn't gain power but he is actually dying everybody that is not being affected with the blood will actually help him so that's a bad thing now we didn't finish uh, Hakkar today or tonight actually last night uh, simply because the tank was sleep at this, this at this time I was uh, so tired uh, and he needed just a good three hours sleep that he could get before he got to work that doesn't matter uh, it resets the first night it reset it already after a day so today uh, there's three days of getting him down so uh, if you're with your guild over here and you need two nights because you only wait like uh, two hours a night then that's fine uh, you have three days to, to kill him and and I, I do love the three days reset this is the this is so much fun this rate and I guess you can do this quickly with less people uh, and get even more out of it especially the rep the wrap of this raid is interesting because it uh, gives you all these uh, nice uh, head and legs and shans and uh, some extra uh, and shans for weapons and that kind of stuff. So 
running uh, Zulgur Group a couple of times is helping the guilds, CQ, uh, helping you a lot. My first rep is, is in. Thanks for watching, sticking out so long. Oh yeah, nice to know. Uh, if you run off the platform, the boss will reset. So if you have aggro and you run off, he resets. Which is uh, bad if you're a tank and trying to get him down. But let's say if you're uh, on the verge of wiping, uh, just having the last people running on both sides of the platform down, uh, will help a lot. Make sure that then, of course, there's not uh, extra ads over there because uh, they might. Be. So uh, about the train of, uh, of blood, you will see that over here, everybody is green. That's actually the buff that you need to have, but the buff doesn't stay forever. So you have to pull up a son of a car every time. And you see that over here. So uh, the son of a car is on the, on the right side behind my interface. And now everybody has corrupted blood. So you have to run in there. Quick, quick, quick. Now you kill him. He gives us the debuff. And now when Hakkar is actually... Now he's getting the corrupted butt of everybody. And that makes him die easier. This is the way to do it. Rinse and repeat. 